guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then hello, my name is Jess. This is basically a channel for a normal girl trying to live her best life, and if that's a bit of you, make sure you follow and subscribe and all that jazz. I basically do a lot of ways to style, talking about spending less money, weekly vlogs, travel bits, lifestyle, bit of everything, and basically trying to navigate life and have the best time. So, today's video I thought I would film because I get asked a lot about how I plan outfits, how I put them together, how I come up with these outfits that I wear, um, and don't just end up in like the same jeans and a nice top and a coat every single day. So I thought that because I'm going out to shoot some outfits tomorrow with my friend for Instagram, I would show you the process of how I put outfits together because whether I'm going out to take outfit pictures or whether I'm going out with a friend or, you know, just popping out on a Saturday with my boyfriend, I have a pretty similar process of how I think about what I'm going to wear. And to be honest, sometimes it will just be that an idea pops into my head and I'm like, oh, that outfit I wore three weeks ago is a good one. Maybe I'm just going to rewear that. But sometimes I'll just kind of go into my wardrobe and know that I want to wear a specific piece and put it together. So I thought I would show you the process of putting together six outfits to take to get some pictures tomorrow and hopefully inspire you to go into your wardrobe, look at what you've already got and come up with some new ideas with things that you already own instead of feeling like you need to buy into the latest trends because I'm not about the latest trends. I am very much a timeless, classic, simple dresser. Nothing I wear is too out there apart from like maybe the odd thing. Most of what I have is very simple, classic pieces that you probably own yourself, if not something very, very similar. So I basically have <laughs> what would seem like the easiest wardrobe to style, but I sometimes think that when you strip it back to just basics, as much as everything goes together, it can sometimes be really difficult to maybe think of new outfits or just come up with something that makes you feel a bit inspired so we're going to talk through the process so my first point of call like i've said is three or four different steps so i either get inspired by an outfit that i've already worn and i just rewear that which is quite a classic way to do things i kind of have like a default look that i wear which is typically in the winter either jeans or leather trousers a roll neck and some kind of coat that covers a lot of me, maybe a scarf, and then just my dogs. That's kind of my classic outfit, or I wear trainers. There's like a few very key pieces that if I had them on a rail, I probably wouldn't wear anything else because they are just kind of my go-tos. The other way that I do things is I go through my own Instagram account and I look at all the outfits that I've previously worn, um, try and find some inspiration. If you are not someone who has an Instagram account that is an influencer account where you post outfits and stuff, one thing I would recommend you do is when you're leaving the house, take pictures in a mirror. Even if they never go anywhere, just take a picture in your mirror and save it into a little folder on your phone and then you've got a collection of outfits that you've worn and really liked and then you can kind of just go back through that as an archive instead. I just use my Instagram account because I feel like that's a bit easier um, than me having loads and loads of outfits on my phone as well as all the outfits for work and stuff but I do think that's a really good way to do things and there is also an app that I'm going to start using today I'm gonna have a little look and download it I think it takes a while to like collate everything but it's called wearing and I saw it on the Anna edit and it looks like a pretty genius idea it's basically like an outfit building app it's kind of like the wardrobe in clueless but in an app that's really easy to understand so I'm gonna be downloading that and hopefully that will help and we can do a 2.0 of this video in the future and <laughs> see if that makes my outfit planning a bit easier. The other way that I do things is by just finding a piece in my wardrobe that I really want to wear. It might be, say for example, a coat that I haven't worn in ages and I'm like, oh, I need to make sure I wear that soon. Or maybe it's a certain pair of trousers that I really like that I haven't worn in a while. Or I know that a pair of jeans are really comfy because I'm a bit bloated that day. Whatever it is, sometimes I will style around a certain piece in my wardrobe. And then the last thing that I do is browse Pinterest. Now, Pinterest is a great tool if you are just looking for inspiration, you want to jazz up your wardrobe a little bit, you're looking for a bit of something new, you maybe just feel really uninspired with your wardrobe and want to try something. I flipping love Pinterest. I'll leave a link to my Pinterest account down below if you want to follow, but I have folders for like winter, winter to spring, spring, spring to summer, summer, summer to autumn. Like there's so many folders of outfits and I just find it really handy for putting things together. So let's, for example, right now, I'll, put my screen on the screen so you can see what I'm browsing but I know that I've got a green faux fur coat that I got in a Black Friday sale from And Other Stories maybe 2018 2017 that coat cost me 45 pounds from And Other Stories it is the best thing I've ever bought I think and I really want to make sure that I wear it for my shoot tomorrow and I want to just wear it in life I keep looking at it and thinking I need to get you out more often so what I'm going to do is go on Pinterest and just type in 
Mm, you can kind of see on my screen all of the different things I've been searching today because I wanted to wear a teddy coat also. So I'm just going to type in, uh, let's go green faux fur coat first. There we go, green faux fur coat outfit. And then I'm just going to browse all of the outfits. So like this one's a really good option. I'm just going to pop that. I'm actually just going to screenshot because it's a bit easier for right now. But normally I would put them into a folder of like outfits I want to shoot recent, like coming up. Sometimes I put them in outfit folders, sometimes I just screenshot. Right now we're going to screenshot for ease, um, but that's a really good one. It's quite nice because you see such a variety of outfits and you can get inspiration. So, for example, this one, yes, it's bright green, but I have a coat that is nearly identical to that in cream, and that's quite a good outfit to recreate with a cream coat, so I could save something like that, for example. Um, oh my God, is that old Molly May? Oh, <laughs> okay, um, don't put that Molly May bit in. So green faux fur coat isn't really giving me much inspiration. This one's quite cute. Oh, again, another one to click on. Um, this one here is quite cute with the um, green jumper underneath. Okay, so let's take off green and just put faux fur coat because that might give us some inspiration that we can then just make into the green coat. So this one here is a very similar style to mine. And I actually think this kind of outfit could look quite cool. So she's got brown boots on, the white jeans, white bag, black cap. So we're going to screenshot that one because that's quite a good inspiration. Um, what else have we got? I'll probably only need like one outfit inspiration for this. But it's quite nice sometimes to browse. I would advise putting in folders, um, especially if you are you know, wanting to wear your wardrobe a lot more. It's kind of handy. I have a folder that's specifically in my wardrobe and it's basically things like this where I see an inspiration and it's similar to something that I own and like I can kind of recreate the outfit quite easily and I'll pop it into a folder of like Pinterest outfits to recreate and it means that I can just go into my wardrobe and be like, right, I know that I can put this, this, this together and it'll look cool. So that's quite a good way to do things too. But I think, to be honest, I think that other outfit might be the way to go because I think that was quite a good one, an easy one to recreate with what I already have. That coat there with the blue cap is stunning. But yeah, I think that's quite a good one. So we'll maybe try and recreate that. And then let me show you. So, okay. So then what I'm going to do is show you a different way you can do this. So you could just literally look up winter outfits, obviously seasonally appropriate if you're not in winter think about something different and what I typically do is just have a scroll and then I'll save any that I really like the look of so like this one here sat on the chair and then I'll just go to my winter one and just save it into my winter folder and then I can look back on that in a little bit and maybe recreate it today or another day or if I'm really struggling for inspiration that folder is my absolute bible I go into that <laughs> that folder is the best thing ever because I'll go into that and be like right what can I wear that's in this folder and I know I can recreate all of those outfits. So let's have a little browsy browse because this one's quite cute. I like the scarf and the like oversized jacket with the tights and stuff. Let's save this one as well. But there's quite a lot of um, outfits on here that are quite easy to recreate. I actually used this one recently to make myself an outfit because I thought it was quite cute. It's just like a really simple one to recreate with bits that I already own. And to be honest, I think nowadays style is very, it's very easy to recreate. People don't really go for trends as much. Like, yes, there is the odd trends around, but I feel like for the most part, it's really easy to recreate because everyone is kind of sticking to those capsule pieces. So it is really nice to look at stuff like this. Also Instagram, I think Instagram, the same kind of vibe. You can browse, you can see an outfit you like, and you can save it to a folder on there too. I would say Pinterest is a little bit easier for this because you can just type in keywords a lot easier in search. But I do find the Instagram way of doing this quite easy. If you are browsing, see an outfit you like, you can save it to a folder and it's just there. But let's get into my wardrobe and we'll start putting together some outfits. So this is the one that we just saved. So the coat with the white trousers and the cap. Let me get the coat out and I'll show you what it looks like. This is the coat I was talking about. I call this the Grinch, but it's really nice. Kind of olivey colour, which is beautiful. Like I said, it's around other stories. I've had it for so long. I got this in like 2018, so I know it's not available anymore. But I'll try and link something similar if you're interested. But it's so beautiful. I've never ever seen one like it. I've not seen it on Vinted or anything. They did have a brown version, but this green just spoke to me. I absolutely love it. And I think especially now I've got darker hair, 
lush. So that's going to be what we style and we're going to try and build an outfit around it. Now that picture, that wouldn't be the first time that's happened. I put that back up yesterday. It's fallen off about six times. So we're just going to ignore it. Um, okay. So the outfit that she had on looks like she's got, you can't see her top, but I think we're just going to go for like a cream jumper. So we're going to go for some cream jeans and a cream jumper. Let me find them. Okay, first up, we've got cream jumper. This is the mock neck and other stories. I've had this one again for probably the same amount of time. I think I probably got it around 2018, 2019. But this one's great. It's only about £35. Great quality and such a good, just classic, simple jumper. So I'm thinking that could go really nicely underneath. And then jeans, let's go for this pair. This is the weekday row, which is one of my all-time favourite pairs of jeans. I've got them in blue and black as well. But these are just the cream pair. Um, I've got length 30 in these and waist I went up two sizes because I wanted to be a little bit baggier and they just fit really nicely because they kind of slouch a little bit which I like so yeah got these and these are just like a nice ecru off-white which is perfect so I'm thinking they could look quite cool as an outfit like that I really like that that could look quite nice and then I think the boots has potential to either dress it up or down. So I don't actually have any like flat brown boots like she had in that picture, but I'm thinking I could either do Uggs, which keeps it really on trend, or I have a really great pair of ASOS boots that I've had years. Let me find them. Here, so these are really, really old ASOS. I think these are probably from like 2016, if I'm honest with you, but they're just really nice suede ones I've had for so long and they're so comfortable. They're the only brown boots I own and they are just a dream. They look really cute with little dresses and stuff, but also really good with jeans. Uh, like I said, actually, to be fair, because I haven't worn them in ages, I'm thinking they might be quite a good option. The only thing is I'm thinking Uggs is gonna really dress this down these boots are going to really dress it up. So if I pop these on, it's a bit more smart, but maybe that's a good thing because I've worn Uggs quite a lot recently. Let's go with it. I think let's go with it because this is the kind of thing I would wear if I was going out for like a roast dinner on a weekend or going shopping or like whatever it is. Like, a, you know, sometimes you just go and hang out with family and then you end up at the local pub for a drink or something. This is the kind of thing I'd wear. So I'm thinking that could be quite cute. So we've got the cream jeans, the boots, and then she had a black cap on, but I'm thinking a black cap maybe won't work because we're smartening it up. If I wore the Uggs, I think it would. So I'm gonna not do the cap. And then I think let's go neutral bag. I'm gonna grab my Songmont one from the other room. Okay, I'm gonna go for this bag from Songmont. This is the medium drippy, it's so cute. It's really reminiscent of the Loewe puzzle bag, which I quite like. And I think it's just such a good, similar alternative if you love the puzzle bag like i do but don't have like three thousand pounds this is only about i think about 200 pounds so it's still expensive it's still a nice like high quality bag but it's a lot cheaper than that kind of price point so yeah love that i think that will go really nicely and then i'm thinking the pradas could be good and i'm thinking to slick hair back into a ponytail because i think oh did i just flash a bra because i think that could look really sleek with the coat and stuff, because the coat's quite a statement. I feel like we can make it look a little bit chic with the glasses and hair up. What do we think? Because I'm thinking that's such a vibe. And that's outfit number one for my shoot tomorrow. But do you get the process? I'm gonna do another four outfits to explain it more, but do you see, do you see where we're going with this? So obviously I've got the inspiration picture, which actually has ended up looking nothing like the outfit, but it's given me the inspiration to go into my wardrobe and recreate it in my style with my pieces. So this is the final outfit in all its glory when I was out taking pictures. But what do we think? Cause I think this is, I think it's different enough, but it's also super similar in the terms of like, in terms of we've got the fur coat, we've got the cream trousers, we've got the boots and we've got the cream bag, but I've made it my own and made it into like a really nice outfit that's a bit different. Next outfit, what can I wear? Trying to think what's something I haven't worn in a while that I maybe want to bring out. I don't know whether to go for knitwear because it is winter, but I think you can layer long sleeve tops and like roll necks and stuff really easily. I don't know whether to do like a structured coat with a scarf and a roll neck, so like keep the base very, very simple and then just do like nice scarf and roll neck or and like big statement coat or something. I'll go for this one. Again, a long standing in my wardrobe. This is from And Other Stories again. So we're gonna go for this nice structured very simple 
camel coat. This is gorgeous. They keep this coming back year after year. Um, and it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I do wish I had it in more colours, but I've got very similar and I've got so many coats I just don't need anymore. However, investment for the future is definitely going to be this in black, but maybe one or two sizes bigger. So it's a bit more oversized, but still a really nice structured shorter jacket. So I'm thinking that could be a really good base. And then to be honest, I put together an outfit the other day that I really loved that I think might just be the outfit that I recreate with this. So this is the outfit. So we've got a leopard print scarf owing to the trend. I've had that scarf for so many years, like 10 years. I've kept it because I've always loved leopard print. Leopard print's now a trend again. So I think let's bring it back out, wear it with the camel coat and then we'll do the white bag and the all black underneath with some chunky boots. So an outfit that I've already worn and styled but we're just gonna recreate it and put it back together. So we've got the chunky scarf here. This is actually, I think from Zara. Oh no, it's from Mango. It's from Mango many, many moons ago, probably like 2015. I've had it a very long time and I know I've had it a really long time because a picture came up on Facebook of me wearing it the other day and it was so long ago, like 2017 in Amsterdam kind of vibe. So I know I've had it for ages. Um, okay, then let's go roll necks I, maybe we'll go for my ribbed one these are an essential for me this is from primark and it's so comfy they're just fine knit ribbed roll necks i've got a gray one a black one and a white one i think i've actually got multiple black and white to be honest but they're about six to eight pounds and they're so good i actually need to go back and get some more because i really want to get um just like one more of each color because i just i feel like i love them so much i'd be gutted if they don't come back next year they typically do come back every year but i just i want to they're my security blanket they're my winter essential um so i'm thinking let's pop that and actually maybe we go leather trousers because i like the jeans but i think leather trousers could look quite cool but then i've worn leather trousers a lot recently so maybe we do go jeans because the jeans don't get bought out as often so maybe we do jeans these are my jet black Levi 501s. Again, another staple. The weekday row jeans and the Levi 501s are my absolute go-tos and I live in them. I honestly love them so much. But these ones haven't been bought out as often because I prefer my faded ones, which are actually ASOS. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So these are going to go with that and the roll neck. I would put a belt on because I think it would look quite classic, but I think where the scarf is so big and we're putting a crossbody bag, I think that might be kind of lost so it'd be a bit too much so I think that will be quite nice and then white bag let's do the Jacquemus Chiquito little bag this is the medium size I do have the no nude node I don't know how you say it but it's the one with the curly strap in black but the white one I really like I actually am selling the smaller version of this in tan as well if anyone's interested it's on my vintage but um that will be quite cute I think it breaks up the black a little bit as well and it kind of draws out some of the lighter colours in the scarf i would say a black cross body but i really do like the white with it i think it just brings it out a little bit and again i think i would either have my hair tucked in or i'd tie it up in a ponytail or a bun like a slick high bun because i think that would look quite nice and chic so yeah number two done and dusted for the video let's do one more outfit because i feel like i've put together two we can do one more and then we'll that'll be like a well-rounded so i'm gonna go completely rogue here and we're just gonna try picking a piece and going from that actually no mm, okay we've recreated a pinterest outfit by looking for an item we've picked an item and made a whole outfit around it let's do let's maybe just go on pinterest and just find an outfit or do you know what no let's try and make one just out of what we've got but i'm going to pick something and we're going to style something together that is pieces I've got but haven't worn into an outfit before. That's a really good way to do it. Right, so do we think trousers or do we think shorts or skirt? So I've got these, which were a trend maybe like last year or the year before, and I really like them, so I've kept them because I just I think they're really gorgeous. So they're like the turnover waistband vibe. These are from Pull and Bear. But I think these could look quite cute with maybe the top I'm wearing which by the way is like an oversized Zara number. I'll put the code, but I, it's a couple of years old, so I don't know if they'll still have it, but this could look quite nice. And then, hmm, what coat? Do we do a long coat maybe? Yeah, let's do a long coat. So let's go, I've got a recent new in from 
Christmas, which my dad got me, which is this structured mango one. Um, I size up in coats, by the way. I always, always, always get a size bigger. Same as jumpers, because I like them to fit a little bit more of a size. So I'm thinking that could be quite nice. With the white long sleeve top, I would say maybe like my roll necks, but I don't think these look great with things tucked in, unless it's like a tight fitting something, like maybe my Abercrombie bodysuits, but I don't, it'll be too cold. So I'm thinking the oversized could be quite nice. So we'll go for those. And for shoes, we're gonna go trainers. And I think maybe, I'm kind of leaning towards the checkerboard vans actually. So I've got two different types of vans. These ones I got on Depop for like 15 pounds. These ones I got on Vinted for six. <laughs> I bought both of them secondhand and just washed them up. These are a bit wrecked because I wore them at Coachella and I've worn them in like a million different places that are just, I haven't washed them in a while basically. But I don't know which one to do because I'm thinking that shoe, that shoe's nice because it's subtle. But this one's almost just giving it like the big guns. So maybe that one. Actually no. Mm. Let's do these. I haven't worn these in a while. Let's do these ones. Because that could pick up the waistband quite nicely. And then the most plain black I have has got Mickey Mouse on it from Cotton On. But I don't want to buy more caps just to not have that. That's ridiculous. So I think that could be quite cute. We'll go with that. I feel like a black scarf. So we've got the little bit of white. I don't think we want to add more white. I think let's go for a black scarf. And then I think I would style the scarf kind of, let me show you it on because it'll be a bit easier to explain. So obviously ignoring my hair, I'm just doing this to show you. But I really like lifting the scarf, lifting the coat collar up and then tucking your scarf underneath the collar so that it kind of makes the collar stand up and then your scarf is kind of around so it doesn't really do much in terms of keeping you warm but it looks nice so i think i might do that because it looks quite chic and just easy and then i think the cap and the vans will dress it down a little bit so it'll kind of bring it that really nice chic but casual element to it so very smart casual what do we think so we've got the trousers we've got the gray coat we've got the black scarf the vans which i think will be far enough apart you don't notice how not white they are cap and then the white top I think that's a bit of a vibe. Okay, done. So I've done three outfits. Hopefully you found this video useful and it gave you some really easy tips to go into your wardrobe, have a little look what you've got, browse Pinterest to try and get some inspiration, browse Instagram, just go through and really look at what's in your wardrobe and think about new ways to wear it because I think there's nothing worse than just feeling like you constantly need to buy more to make your wardrobe interesting. What you've got I guarantee is already interesting and I think you could probably make a dozen outfits out of it if not maybe adding like a new white t-shirt in or something might really help the mix but keeping it very simple with pieces that are very easy to style everyone's wardrobes are different so my pieces might not be to your taste maybe you like bright colors maybe you don't like structured coats whatever it might be your outfits will work together. All of those pieces in your wardrobe can really easily mix and match and I guarantee you can come up with some really great options without having to buy anything new. So I hope this video helped you with some styling options. I'll put a little slideshowy vibe on the screen here so you can see the outfits in action and hopefully they look really great. I don't know, I haven't worn them yet, but I have, I have high hopes that they're gonna look really good and they're gonna come together as some really gorgeous outfits. But yeah. I hope you like this video guys if you like this style let me know and we can do some more in the future i just thought it might be quite nice to do a more vlog style talking you through how i create outfits how we put them together what they're like etc i just think it's quite a nice easy to digest way to do it rather than me just talking to you sat in my front room so if you like it don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell for more from me and i'll see you in my next video goodbye guys